In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for sodium cyanide. So the first thing we need to recognize is we have sodium, that's a metal, and then the CN, this is the cyanide ion. This is a polyatomic ion. So we're going to treat this as the sodium ion and the cyanide ion. We have a metal group of nonmetals. It's an ionic compound. So let's draw sodium in Na, and sodium has one valence electron. It's in group one on the periodic table. Put that out there. For the cyanide ion, this is a group of nonmetals. It's going to be a covalent compound. We're going to have covalent bonds. So to draw the cyanide ion, you'd end up with something like this. We have the negative sign here. We have one, two, three. So we have a triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. And this is an ion, so we're going to put brackets around it and the negative sign on the outside. So when we draw the NaCN Lewis structure, sodium, that's the metal. So it loses this valence electron to our polyatomic ion. When it does that, it becomes positive. It lost an electron. And this then becomes negative. That's where this negative comes from. So when we have the positive ion and the negative ion, they attract each other. This is our ionic bond. The positive and the negative, they're attracted together. That forms the ionic bond. Sodium has the positive because it lost an electron. The cyanide ion, it got that electron. It becomes negative. To show that we transferred electrons. We're not sharing these electrons here. That's why we have the brackets around the cyanide ion here. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for NaCN, sodium cyanide. Thanks for watching.